Hey Deckers, welcome to our monthly countdown of the top 20 most played Steam Deck games by hours played. Every month Valve gives us the list on Twitter so we add a lot more detail and actual gameplay on deck. So let's dive in. At number 20 it's Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, down three places from last month. This immersive game brings you eight years behind Peter Parker's mask with over 3,500 players a day feel the full power of a more experienced Spider-Man. This runs fantastically on the Steam Deck and is best played at around 30 frames per second. Check out our full guide on the channel. Street Fighter 6 has taken a mighty plunge this month, falling 18 places to the 19th spot. But don't be fooled, with over 25,000 players a day, this classic fighting game remains a Steam favourite. Again, best played at 30 frames per second on the Steam Deck and we have full gameplay on the channel. NBA 2K23 is our 18th spot, down 6 places but still capturing the attention of over 27,000 players a day. Rise to the occasion and realise your full potential. This runs absolutely fantastically on Steam Deck, we still haven't got our full review out but we do have the gameplay as you see here running on Steam Deck at a solid 60 frames per second. Climbing three places is Slay the Spire, capturing the 17th spot. With its dynamic deck building and ever-changing spire, this game is sure to keep you coming back for more. With a solid 60 frames per second and a very low power usage under 10 watts, you'll be able to play this one for a good 3-4 to four hours on the Steam Deck and always keep coming back. Making a comeback is Persona 5 Royale, sending three places to number 16. Save others from distorted desires as you navigate your high school in Tokyo as the Phantom Thief. This has a ridiculously long playtime of well over 100 hours and it runs at a pretty solid 60 frames per second on the Steam Deck. It's definitely one that's going to keep you coming back. Hades moves up a place to number 15. As the immortal prince of the underworld, you'll grow stronger and unravel more of the story with each unique escape attempt. Some comment that this can be a little bit small on the Steam Deck, but it does run a solid 60 frames per second with a good 2 hours battery life. Down just one spot is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Staying strong at number 14, you can traverse the monster infested world with Geralt, and enjoy the new features and items in the latest updated version remastered for PC. Solid 40 to 60 frames per second depending on the settings that you want to run on this one, but does run spectacularly well on the deck. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth moves up a spot to lucky number 13. Discover bizarre treasures that change Isaac's form, enabling him to fight off groves of mysterious creatures in this ever-changing dungeon crawler. Released back in 2014 and storming the charts on the Steam Deck since they started with a solid 60 frames per second and a good 4 hours battery time. The legendary Skyrim Special Edition drops 3 places to number 12, but don't let that drop fool you. This critically acclaimed game and its add-ons are still going strong. You can do mods if you really want to, but it plays solidly on the Steam Deck at 60 frames per second and you get a good 2 hours battery life quite easily. Holding steady at number 11, it's Fallout 4. As the sole survivor of Vault 111, you'll enter a world destroyed by nuclear war. Will you rebuild and determine the fate of the wasteland? This runs spectacularly on Steam Deck and is best played at around 40 frames per second to get the best mix of graphics and performance, and mods are also working. Hogwarts Legacy slides down two spots to enter the top 10, experience Hogwarts in the 1800s, battle dark wizards and ultimately decide the fate of the wizarding world. Best played at a cap 30 frames per second to get the best experience on medium to high settings, but still does run well on Steam Deck with some hefty dips here and there. Cyberpunk 2077 falls two spots to number 9. In the metropolis of Night City, you play as the cyberpunk mercenary wrapped up in a do or die fight for survival. This has got constant updates throughout its development and with FSR 2.1 really does make it spectacular on the Steam Deck, best capped at 30 frames per second. New to our list this month and hitting number 8 is Halls of Torment. Choose your hero, descend into the deadly halls and fight unholy horrors from beyond. This is a very different take on the survivor shooter genre. And we'll have a full review on this on the channel very soon. But as you can see, it's running fantastic on the Steam Deck at under 10 watts, but you will need to cap it at 30 frames per second. Falling just one spot to number 7 is Vampire Survivors. 
time survival game with minimalistic gameplay and roguelike elements that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Can you survive the 20 minute runs while levelling up? Vampire Survivors has been topping the charts and sticking in the top 20 ever since they started and is still a fantastic game to play on deck with a good 3-4 hours runtime. Red Dead Redemption 2 holds its own at number 6. Outlaws on the run, federal agents and the best bounty hunters in the nation are tracking down Arthur Morgan. Can he survive? Let us know in the comments because you have been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 once again and why wouldn't you at a solid 30 to 40 frames per second? It's absolutely stunning on the Steam Deck. Sliding down to the fifth spot is Grand Theft Auto 5, continuing to draw an astounding 162,000 plus players a day with its intense and gripping storyline but mostly online players playing at an absolutely solid 50 to 60 frames per second on the Steam Deck across all of the different gameplay modes that you can do in Grand Theft Auto is a great game to be playing on the deck. Rising six spots to number four is Brotato. Survive on an alien planet as Brotato, the only potato capable of handling six weapons at the same time. You can certainly see a theme of genres that are best played on the Steam Deck and Brotato mixes the graphics as well as the fun of the survivor genre on Steam Deck at a crystal clear 4K pushing 60 frames per second. Stargy Valley climbs up a spot to number three. Can you learn to live off the land and turn these overgrown fields into a thriving home? One of the most popular games on Steam Deck since the start and with a good four to five hours battery life running at 60 frames per second and under nine watts battery, you really are going to lose your time to this one. Holding steady at number two is Elden Ring. Vast world awaits you where overwhelming threats and a high sense of accomplishment await you as you explore. This one is best played at around 40 frames per second, although you can push it up to higher settings with 30 frames per second cap, but our favourite is definitely around the 40 frames per second mark to get that better mix of performance. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the top spot this month goes to a new entry, Dave the Diver. Dive into the ever-changing blue hole, run a sushi restaurant and unravel the mysteries in the depth. We've already got over nine hours in this one just from our testing because we just could not get enough of it. With the ever-changing dungeon of the deep, as well as being able to run your sushi restaurant, there is so much to keep you entertained in this one. That wraps up our top 20 countdown for this month. As always, check out the links below if you're interested in any of these games. And don't forget to check out our weekly verified and playable games, as well as the most played games next month. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.